Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I'm Benjamin, and I'm doing something a little different with this episode. I am sharing with you about a designer of banknotes by the name of Clarence Holbert. He's the gentleman who designed Eritrea's national currency, the Nakfa. He designed the banknotes as well as the coins of this nation. And I would like to give you a little bit of background on Mr. Holbert. Clarence actually worked his way through college working as a security guard at the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing. He became known for his artwork and was eventually offered a place as an apprentice. It was in 1994 that he was offered the task of creating the new coinage and currency of Eritrea. Based on pictures that he received showing all aspects of Eritrean life, he created some initial designs and was able to then visit Eritrea. The everyday people of Eritrea were the theme that had been chosen by the president of the new nation, Isaias Afwerki, because it was all about the everyday people of Eritrea. Government officials and relatives were specifically forbidden to be the focus of these banknotes, and the focus was to be the people. So on the face of each of these notes, Clarence Holbrook caused to be uh, created and shown a small vignette of the raising of the Eritrean flag. You can see this to the left of most of the banknotes of Eritrea. There was a decisive battle for independence at a place called Nakfa, and this happened to be what uh, became the name of the new nation's currency. It was very meaningful for Clarence as an African-American to be so directly involved with the important and historic step of establishing a new nation's currency. It was also extremely um, meaningful for the Eritreans to have a black artist create their circulating art. He was told by the Eritreans of the pride they felt that their notes were created by one of them. Clarence was very grateful for this opportunity. He spent more than two years in the creation of these notes. And then he, ex then he um, experienced a further couple of years in the production of these notes. He was around for the official release of the Nakfa on November 8, 1997, prior to his 1998 um, <clears throat> retirement from the Bureau. These notes are some of Mr. Holbert's notes. They honor the people, the women, and the nation of Eritrea. They are also a credit to a special African-American designer, Clarence Holbert. I found my information in Krause the bank notebook, Wikipedia, and um, a website called tesfanews.net. I would love to have found more information from Clarence himself, but while that might happen, it hasn't happened yet. I have now for you a selection of notes from the nation of Eritrea. The first note I have to show you is the one Nakfa. It is cataloged P1, and on the face it shows three girls. On the back of the note, we see... A bush school. And of course, a bush school is an outdoor school where you see students studying some <laughs> as hard as they do in the U.S. And you see some students conversing as hard as they do in the U.S. Pretty much students being students. And that's a beautiful thing about this. The next note I have for you is a pick 13, which is a 2015 one Nakva. You notice a little bit more changes. There are a little bit smaller size in the note, but we have the same vignette on the face, and we have the same vignette on the back, but it's on a smaller platform, and the colors of the note have changed somewhat. This one Nakfa is still circulating in the nation today. Next I have for you is a 1997 Five Nakfa. The, uh, the Five Nox is catalog P2, and it depicts some men and boys on the front. On the back, we have an amazing jacaranda tree. And at first, when I saw this, I thought it must be a small tree. But then, closer look down here shows you uh, animals that you have to put in the context of the tree. This, in fact, must be a very amazing and a very large tree. Beautiful design. Absolutely could just sit and look at this tree. For hours and feel like I'm outside viewing it. The next note I have to show you is a Tin Nakfa of 1997. Its catalog is Pick 3 and it depicts three women on the face. 
and on the back it shows a viaduct or a viaduct over the Dogali River. Every time I see this note, I think of, actually I think of some of the Roman arches that I've seen in various places around the Middle East. But what interests me is even though there is a train using this viaduct as a bridge over the river, it is a train that appears to be pulled by a pickup truck. So it's not really a train I'm familiar with, but um, it is a beautiful scene of a beautiful bridge. Uh, in 2012, they updated the Tin Nakfa. They made it smaller, a little bit more colorful. And on the back, same vignette, but with just a different color. It almost seems that one could put together a collection of banknotes of the same vignettes and have what would be a type of, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? A type of maybe color dot or color um, patterns? I don't know. I do know that it's a very beautiful note. You can see that the main difference is to the left of the note, where on the original note we have a watermark to the left, a framed watermark. And we have a line engraved sky. And on the new note, the um, the frame has disappeared and you have a much more um, natural looking blank portion of the note. I'll be honest, all the, all the fancy $5 words are escaping me tonight, people. Forgive me for that. This note is a 20 Nakfa. It is a note of 1997 an initial note has the same vignette of the flag raising and we have again uh three girls appearing on the phrase on the face of this note the back of the note actually shows uh farming throughout the years although you probably see these scenes periodically even to date if you were to visit eritrea the first vignette shows a farmer using a camel to plow his fields. And in the middle vignette, we have a woman harvesting her goods. And if we look to the far right, we have a woman using a modern tractor as she plows a field. In 2012, this was also updated. But what didn't change was the size of the note. What did change was the color of the note. We have the same vignettes on the face, and we have the same, well, we have the same portraits on the face, and we have the same vignettes on the back of the note, just in a different color. The final note I have to show you of Mr. Um, Holbert's designs is a 50 Nakfa. I don't actually have a 100 Nakfa in my collection just yet, but it's only a matter of time before that appears. The 50 Nakva shows three women on the face of the note with the same flag raising scene to the left. And on the back of the note, we actually have a port scene depicting ships in the port of Masura. Let's see if I can't center that for you. Beautiful modern scene of ships, gantry cranes. All the plethora of machines that one would find at an international port. Collectors of Africana, the common folk, native costumes, jewelry, school scenes, hairstyles, trees, bridges, trains, tractors, camels, ports, ships, and smiles will want to have at least one of Mr. Holbert's notes in their collection. Please visit and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Share with everyone you think of that might be interested, especially share with our school teacher friends. I am Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.